Okay, so you know, this is exactly why, despite the fact that recently, uh, you know, ready-made clothes have flooded the market and they're cheaper than tailor-made clothes, which originally was cheaper, actually. It was cheaper to buy fabric and tailor your own suits. Um, but uh, now it is actually cheaper to get ready-made clothes. But here is the basic flaw. I don't know who the hell cuts these things up. I seriously, that is the first thing we need to ask these pseudo tailors and these pseudo designers that um, have ready-made suits all over the market is that who the hell does the cutting because if you can't even get your basics right then I think you should not even be in the market in the first place and it's become so common now which is why actually I tend even if I do get ready-made clothes I tend to get them two sizes larger just to stay on the safe side imagine I'm actually a size small but I normally get a size medium but when I get ready-made suits uh, in Pakistan in the market, then I actually look for a large. And this is why. This is exactly why. Look at the cutting. You can see that they can't even cut the armhole right. They can't even cut the shoulders right. They can't even cut the armhole right. And that is your basic cutting. That is everything. If you can't even get the shoulders and the armhole right, then what the hell are you doing? That is number one. Number two, just check out this trousers. Like, 30 years in this country, 30 years, and I swear, I don't know how, when, and where they learn to cut trousers. I mean, they do men's trousers all right. Why can't they do women's trousers? And why do they insist on making trousers when they can't even cut trousers right? Just look at the fitting of this thing. Just look at the fitting. I swear, the 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 worst part about these is that there is no front or back seriously you have no idea which is the front or back they're all equal okay they don't even do that in shalwars in shalwars you have an obvious front and an obvious back and seriously i would think that cutting a shalwar is is more difficult than a straightforward trouser and yet they never go wrong with a shalwar with all its folds and all its pleats but they will always go wrong with a trouser now, for example, who on earth has such a large, look at that, just look at that, from the groin to the waist, who on earth has such a long or large measurement from the groin to the waist? Who, who, who wears that? Seriously, who, who wears that? I mean, is that how men wear their trousers? Is that how we wear our shalwars? Who on earth told you that it was okay to cut a trouser from the groin to the waist in such a large size where actually this doesn't even come up to the waist this comes right underneath your it's literally basically on your torso okay just think of it that it's it's even above your upper waist so that is how high it goes and then the fitting down below the fitting down below is so bad i mean this is why i actually hate buying shalwar suits because first of all i don't get shalwars and you know what um for a person who never knew how to wear a shalwar when i recently came to pakistan i swear now i would rather die than look at a trouser suit i actually go and i get my shalwars stitched or i well if i go to a boutique or something i make sure that i get a shalwar suit and not a trouser suit uh, the thing about branded boutiques is the, the only reason their trousers are comfortable is because they make loose cut trousers. They don't make them fitted. They're basically, you know, straight or A-lined, almost bell bottoms or just, you know, loose cut trousers where there is no issue of fitting. So, you know, it, it's, it's fine. Then it becomes comfortable for everybody. But even they, even they tend to measure from the groin to the waist. They tend to make large measurements. I don't know why. I seriously have no clue why, okay? And I swear, all my trousers that I bought uh, from abroad, or the trousers that I've been wearing all my life, that basically when I was abroad, I literally would forget that I'm wearing something. They used to be, they're so comfortable. But these trousers, they're so uncomfortable that I swear I feel like burning them. And I think one day I will end up taking all these trousers that I've got and I'm going to burn them because even my tailor doesn't get them right. When I asked him to stitch trousers for me, I swear. And the thing, the problem with these people is they just, they don't admit it. They never admit to the fact that they 
do not stitch trousers well. Forget the stitching, they don't cut them well. I mean, look at it. The part that is supposed to go in your knee, that actually grides up above your knee or below your knee, depending on how you manage to wear that weird sized, large ass to groin to, to waist measurement thingy, you know, depending on how you try to man manipulate that, you know, your, your knee goes up or down. And that's it. You're, you're completely lost. When you're, if your knee isn't where it's supposed to be, if the knee cut is not where it's supposed to be, then how can you even walk properly? Yeah. So these are the two. I mean, these are just basic things. The thing that really pees me off is that the most basic thing is getting the armhole and the shoulder cut right. Now imagine that you're this, this, the shoulder, it rides above your actual shoulder and then this part it digs into your armpit imagine that and and look at this just look at it and they never cut the two armholes properly like this has a different shape as you can see and this has a different shape as you can see amazing amazing how shoddy work is actually uh, so common now in the market and you you're paying basically for rubbish I would rather pay twofold to get my tailor to get. But the problem now with tailors is, the other problem with tailors now is, they spend not five years as tailors and then they call themselves, they declare themselves masters and then they keep these apprentices and then they give our clothes to their apprentices and their apprentices do the exact same damage to our clothes that we get in ready-made suits. They will never make the neckline right they will always ruin the shoulder and the armhole. I swear. I mean, this is the worst, cheapest, most idiotic, unprofessional. I mean, it's the height of unprofessionalism that I can see. As I say in Pakistan, in every walk of life right now, you find unethical, unprofessional, incompetent people who have flooded the market in every field. And this is why the country has gone to the dogs. That is all I can say. I am right now so peed off at this latest farce of a suit that I got. That I am, and this wasn't even very cheap to be honest. Seriously, I could do better for less. Seriously. So there is my message to the so-called designers and tailors of Pakistan. Please, please, I beg of you stop making trousers stop making trousers and learn learn your basic cutting thank you